All right, I'm not gonna lie, this thing is pretty sexy. This is the brand new Garmin Tactic 7 AMOLED, and it's a really interesting watch, but it's it's very expensive and probably not for everyone. The Tactic 7 AMOLED is a watch designed for tactical applications such as military, law enforcement, hunting, anything like that. And you might be wondering, Dave, Dave, you don't do any of those things, and you would be right, but I still wanted to take a look at this watch because so many people have requested a review for this thing in the comments of a lot of my videos. So that's what we're gonna be doing today, and just as a spoiler, this is not an in-depth review of the Tactic 7 AMOLED because this watch is nearly identical to the Garmin Epix Pro. The Epix Pro and the Tactic 7 AMOLED are basically the same watch. The Tactic 7 AMOLED just has a few extra bells and whistles in a different look about it which we'll talk about near the end of this video. So let's rewind a little bit to the Tactic 7 lineup because the Tactic 7 AMOLED is not the first Tactic 7. How many times can I say Tactic 7, by the way? If you've been following my channel for a while, you might remember this watch. This is the Tactic 7 Pro, and I have a whole video about this watch as well, which you can check out on my channel. I'll link it up here or in the description down below. The Tactic 7 series now consists of four main models. There's the Tactic 7 Standard Edition, which has no solar on board, but does have have a sapphire lens and that comes in at $1,099 here in the USA. Then there's the Pro Solar Edition, which I have here. This one's $1,299. Then there's the new AMOLED version, which is $1,399. And then there's the most expensive one, which I don't have, and that's the Pro Ballistics Edition, which is $1,499. And holy moly, these are expensive watches. That makes the new Tactic 7 AMOLED one of the most expensive watches you can get from Garmin right now in their standard lineup, not including that Mark collection with the new Carbon collection that has like a $3,000 watch. We're not gonna talk about that here. Just know that this watch is not cheap. For a little bit of context, the Garmin Epix Pro 51 millimeter form factor I have here comes in at $999 here in the USA or a thousand bucks. And that is $400 less than the new Tactic 7 AMOLED. Now, why is that? That's what we're gonna talk about in this video. Before we get into the good stuff in this video, I do wanna give a huge shout out to the sponsor of this video, and that is playbetter.com. Playbetter.com is an ongoing sponsor with this channel. I really appreciate them helping me out. And not only do they sponsor my channel, but they also sent me this Tactic 7 AMOLED for the purpose of this video. And without them, I wouldn't be able to make this video. So thank you, playbetter.com. And if you're in the market for a watch like this, or even a Garmin Epix, or a Phoenix, or even a Polar watch, or a Coros watch, check out the links in the description down down below to head over to Play Better where you can get free two day shipping, a great return policy, and there are real people that you can call on the phone if you have a question about your watch. So check out the links down below. They help support the channel. They cost nothing extra to you and they're a great place to shop. Okay. Let's move on. So the first thing I wanna talk about is what comes in the box. Let's get to the basics here. So here is the Tactic 7 AMOLED. Here is the box. And as you can see, this is not a fancy box. This is not like a collector's edition or something like that. So if I open the box up, you will notice a couple of things that are different compared to a standard Phoenix or Epix. The first thing you'll notice right off the bat is that it does include two bands in the box. The band that comes on the watch is this really thick nylon. I think the material is, it almost feels like, I mean, it's definitely like military grade nylon. It's almost like it's doubled up. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but there is basically like two layers of fabric that are stitched or glued together. And this is a really durable feeling material. In fact, it's so durable that as you can see, it doesn't like flop over like other nylon bands. If I get something like my Apple Watch Ultra here, you can see the band just kind of flops around. On this one, you can see it's very stiff and it's so stiff in fact that I don't find it to be all that comfortable, which is kind of odd. So the nylon band on this really has no stretch at all. If I put it on my wrist here, uh, for context, I do have 165 millimeter circumference wrists, if that helps you out with sizing. However, I will say I've only had this watch for a few days, and I do think this is the type of band that needs to break in over time. It almost feels like a piece of leather or something like that, that the longer you wear it, the more comfortable it will get. It is a really cool look because it's not a standard nylon band. Okay, with that band off, the other band in the box is your standard Garmin quick fit nylon band. So you've got the little clasp on the back so you can pop it off very easily and attach it to the watch. And again, these are the same bands that you would find on something like the Garmin Epix Pro or Phoenix 7 Pro. These are both 26 mil millimeter quick fit bands. With the bands aside, there's also this USB charging cable in the box. Of course, we are getting USB type C. I do hope they transition all of their watches over to USB type C because that's the way forward. Okay, so that's it. That is the contents of the box. We're gonna get 
rid of that now and talk more about the watch. Now we're up close and personal with the Tactic 7 AMOLED. And as you can see, this watch looks very similar to something like the Epix Pro. Like I said, these are basically the same watch, but there are some design tweaks on the Tactic 7 AMOLED that make it look a little bit different compared to these other models. So as you can see here, the bezel on the Tactic 7 is flat. It's got these squared off edges and a flat bezel on top of that. And I think this makes it look really cool. I wish they did this with all of the Phoenix and Epix models instead of this sort of tapered bezel. But of course, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. I do think this flat bezel actually makes the watch look a little bit smaller too, oddly. While both watches are physically the same size, the footprint looks a little bit smaller because of the illusion of that flat bezel. The bezel itself has this sort of brushed, kind of machined finish to it. And on top of it, it's got these etched in markings for the time of day, along with these little tick marks around the perimeter there. And the whole thing is coated in a black or gray DLC coating. And as you can see, it looks pretty similar to the Tactic 7 Pro I have here, but the Tactic 7 AMOLED does look a little bit grayer. It's got more of a carbon gray look to it compared to the black on the Tactic 7 Pro. Flipping the watches on their side, you'll notice another difference between the two, and that will be with the buttons. On the right, we've got the Epix Pro, and it's got the little Garmin logo on the start stop button, and then all the other buttons are just smooth. Where on the Tactic 7, on the AMOLED model, you do have these knurled buttons. And I gotta say, just pushing the buttons, the clickiness, if that's a word, on the Tactic 7 AMOLED is a little bit more substantial. I don't know if that's due to it being a Tactics or just luck of the draw here, but I do notice that the buttons just feel a little bit more tactile for the Tactics. That was a nice one. Other than that, when it comes to size and weight between the Epix Pro 51 millimeter and the Tactic 7 AMOLED, they're basically the same footprint, the same size and weight, the same thickness, the same on the back, everything looks the same, the same heart rate sensor, the same charger, it, it's the same. How much more can I say about it being the same? And for a quick comparison against the Phoenix models and the Tactic 7 Pro, which are kind of the same thing here, all the way on the left, we do have the Epix Pro 51 millimeter, then we have the Tactic 7 AMOLED, then we have the Phoenix 7 Pro 51 millimeter or the Phoenix 7X. And then all the way on the right is the Tactic 7 Pro. And for just one more size comparison, I'll throw the Apple Watch Ultra in the middle here so we can just get a look at sizing compared to all these different watches and how it compares to an Apple Watch Ultra because I feel like that's the one most people will be familiar with. Okay, let's move these watches away and focus more on the Tactic 7 AMOLED because there are a couple of other little tweaks about this watch that make it different. First of all, it's going to be the watch face. The Tactic 7 AMOLED comes with this very tactical looking watch face. It's got this sort of army olive green look to it. It's got a very camouflage desert kind of thing going on. And I do like it because it's got a ton of information around the perimeter of the watch face here. You've got your step count, your calories burned, your elevation, the weather for the day, the battery, uh, sunrise and sunset, the month, the day of the week, the, the day on the calendar, your UTC cut time. And then all the way in the middle here, we do have a digital time, oops, and along with the analog time for hours and minutes. And of course, this watch face is fully customizable, just like all Garmin watch faces. If I go into the settings here, I can scroll through different themes for this watch face. And I gotta say, this one is really cool looking. I'm probably gonna stick with that. And I can also change what the hands look like on the, on the dial. I can change all of the different settings and information, the accent colors. It's all available here in the settings here. So you can kind of tweak this to your heart's desire. Moving right along, let's talk battery life on the Tactic 7 AMOLED because spoiler, it's the same as the Epix Pro. That is to say, very good. This watch can go for about a month on a single charge in smartwatch mode, doing your everyday tasks without activity. So that's really impressive. And not only is battery life the same on the Tactic 7 AMOLED, so is all of the training information, like your training readiness, the training status, and all of that stuff. You've also got your wellness information on here, just like on the Epix Pro, like HRV status, body battery, stress tracking. And of course you do have full offline mapping and navigation on the Tactic 7 AMOLED, which is class leading the best in the industry, you've got writable maps, it's all stored internal to the watch, and that's the same as the Epix Pro as well. The Tactic 7 AMOLED has a few features that are specific for tactical things. I don't really know 
what tactical things you do with this. If you're in the military or law enforcement or you're hunting or something like that, this might apply to you. I don't do those things, but I'll, I'll talk about them anyway. The first tactical feature I wanna to touch on here is night vision mode. And I found this to be very interesting because night vision mode was available on the Tactic 7 Pro with the MIP display. And I didn't think they'd be able to do that with an OLED display just because of how bright this thing is. But they changed something here on the Tactic 7 AMOLED and this watch can now dim down to one nit of brightness. So you're not blinded by it if you're wearing night vision goggles. The next feature I wanna talk about here is stealth mode. And again, available on all the Tactics models, just like the Tactic 7 Pro, not specific to the AMOLED model. The idea behind stealth mode is when you're out in the field doing your tactical thing, whatever that is, it turns off all of your wireless communication like Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, so no one knows you're there essentially. And on top of that, it also won't record GPS data to the internal storage of the watch. It'll still give you GPS information like your position or speed or whatever, but it doesn't record that information and that way it keeps you under the radar if you are captured or whatever. Piggybacking on stealth mode is another feature of the Tactic 7 AMOLED and that is kill switch. So kill switch, as the name implies, basically wipes all the data from the storage of the watch. And you might be wondering, well, Dave, I have factory reset for that. And you do, every watch from Garmin has a factory reset that essentially does the same thing. However, kill switch is a single button press in the quick controls menu. So you basically just hold one button on the watch here. It brings up this quick controls menu. And if you scroll around, you'll see this button here for kill switch. And again, for most people, you won't care about this feature, but if you're somebody who is in the field or you're traveling across enemy lines or whatever you're doing with this watch, this might be a feature you'd be interested in. And finally, another unique feature to the Tactic 7 AMOLED is that it comes with aviation features on board if you are someone who pilots a plane. This watch comes with a worldwide database of airports with all of their information in their locations, along with Nexrad support for aviation mapping. And the final feature here I wanna talk about is the built-in flashlight, because just like the Garmin Phoenix 7 and Epix Pro, if you double tap the top left button here, you get a flashlight. On the Tactic 7 AMOLED, you get the same thing, a built-in flashlight right on the watch, which I gotta say is probably one of my favorite features about these watches. However, it is a little bit different on the Tactic 7 AMOLED because instead of having a red light alternative, like on the Phoenix 7 in the Epix Pro, this watch comes with a green light. So if I dive into the flashlight settings here, go into flashlight and I go down and tap on this green icon here, you can see the light turns green. And as you can see, it looks like Christmas on my desk here, red and green. Uh, you know, I don't really, really understand the difference here. From what I understand, the purpose of the green light on the Tactic 7 series is that it's supposed to be a little bit more stealthy. Like if you're out in the field and you're trying to read a map or something like that, you could use the green light to do that. However, from what I understand, I think the red light is actually more stealthy and make, makes you less noticeable to animals and things like that. But again, I'm not in the military. I'm not a tactical kind of guy. So maybe you know more than me. And if you do comment down below and let me know what the purpose is between, behind these two different light colors. When it comes to the brightness of these flashlights though, they are the same. I haven't noticed any significant change in the brightness behind these flashlights. They're both very, bright and if you drop your keys or you're looking for something in a dark area this is super clutch to have because it means you don't have to dig out your phone and use that flashlight you get this right on your wrist at all times and i i hope to see more of this in the future on other watches with flashlights out of the way let's talk about one more feature on the tactic 7 amoled and i found this to be pretty interesting even though it doesn't really apply to me and that's the applied ballistics calculator. So this feature is supposed to help you, I guess, long range shooting using a rifle or archery, I think. Don't attack me too much because I don't know a ton about this. But what I found particularly interesting about this is that the Tactic 7 AMOLED has the applied ballistics calculator on board while the more expensive Tactic 7 Pro Ballistics also has it on board but it costs more money because it has it on board, while this one has an AMOLED display. So what gives? So I did some digging on this and it turns out the more expensive Pro Ballistics model comes with the Applied Ballistics Calculator fully unlocked out of the box. So you can take the thing out of the box and start using the Applied Ballistics Calculator. Where on the Tactic 7 AMOLED, if I try to dive into this here, it says that it's locked and you have to go in to the Applied Ballistics Synapse app in the Garmin mobile app on your phone 
to unlock it. And this is a paid unlock. From what I understand, it's about $300 to unlock this using the Garmin Connect and Synapse app. I might be wrong on this, and if I am, again, comment down below, but it seems like an additional $300 charge if you wanna use Applied Ballistics on this model. But that's really all I can talk about when it comes to Applied Ballistics. Again, I don't even know how to use it. I don't know what it does. All I know is it's for like long range shooting. Okay, that brings us to the conclusion and final thoughts about the Tactic 7 AMOLED. And again, this is a quick review video. This is not an in-depth review or anything like that. At the end of the day, I think people interested in this watch will come from two different camps. There's going to be people coming from a tactical background, whether that be military, law enforcement, hunting, or whatever else, I don't know, paintball shooting, is that a tactical thing? That's where you might be interested in the features of this watch, like stealth mode, night vision goggle mode, and the kill switch and all that stuff. And I think the other camp are people that are interested in the Garmin Epix Pro, but want something that looks a little bit different and don't mind paying up for the extra, you know, the, the uniqueness of this watch. And I'm not gonna blame you either way. I do get that this watch is sexy, it looks different, it's not run of the mill, and you'll stand out when you're at the starting line at your next race, and I can fully appreciate that. And of course, included in that extra 400 bucks, you do get two bands in the box, which does mitigate the price a little bit, but I do feel like you're just paying for the, the uniqueness of this watch. But for everybody else out there who does not own a pair of night vision goggles, the Epix Pro 51 millimeter, it's gonna save you a couple of bucks and give you basically all the same features. And that's it, we made it to the end of this video. If you found this video fun or entertaining, please consider going down and giving me a thumbs up and subscribing to the channel down below so you don't miss more videos from me in the future. And like I said before, check out the links in the description down below if you're interested in the Tactic 7 AMOLED, the Epix Pro, the Phoenix Pro, or any watch I talk about in this video because those links do help support this channel and they cost nothing extra to you. So you might as well use them. And now I wanna hear from you. Are you interested in the Tactic 7 AMOLED? If you are, let me know in the comments down below what features interest you. Are you somebody who's in a tactical application? Are you flying a plane and you need these aviation features? Let me know in the comments down below or if you just like the look of it, I'd accept that too. And with that, I gotta go. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.